Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. If you would like a private reading with me, my email is listed below along with a list of prices and services. Otherwise, don't forget to check out your other readings which are up on my channel and are linked to this video. I'm Cappy. Otherwise, let's jump straight into it and see what's coming up. How does this person feel towards Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. How do they feel? Full Moon Eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, it's a bit of a make or break energy um, happening around this person, uh, Capricorn. It's a very auspicious card here, Capricorn, because essentially what it points to, if this is the basis of someone's emotions, they're actually attuning to things that need to happen. And what I mean when I say this is but when this card comes out, it generally means that which is meant for me will not pass me by. And the doors that slam shut now, the conclusions that I make now will not reopen. Um, it can also be a card of forgiveness and karmic energy here as well. Um, but look, because this is a card about climaxes and conclusions, um, it's really a full moon on steroids here, what you're looking at, Capricorn. So there's definitely a peak in someone's emotions. Um, I think there's major endings coming in for a lot of you, or there's someone who's seriously considering shutting the door to the past or potentially shutting the door to your relationship. Um, this won't be for all of you, um, but it's working in the darkness, okay? It's the shadow self. And I feel like there's a major, there's something really shifting for this person in their life, and this is going to alter. This is going to definitely spill over on your um, relationship or your connection. I feel like um, this person might feel like they're at a loss because sometimes this card can indicate placing our fate, placing the connection here um, into God's hands, okay, into the universe. So someone might feel a little bit helpless. Okay, um, there's really a growing intensity happening around this person's emotions. Um, someone might be wanting an ending or someone wants to um, shut the door to the past um, or forget the past, you know, uh, forgiveness. Okay, could be major happening for some of you. Okay, Page of Swords, King of Wands. Seven of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Okay, two kings. So there is major decisions that will be made. Two kings have come up here, but let's have a look at that page. The page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy coming through with the page of swords here. Um, for some of you, there's definitely someone that's looking back to the past. The page of swords looks back to the path that he's already walked on. Now, for some of you, I want to say, if you have had a connection with this person in the past, if this is your second, third, fourth, fifth or more attempt at this relationship, for some of you, someone is feeling like they're ready to, to not necessarily shut the door to the past completely, but they're ready to move away from the past. For some of you, if this attempt at this relationship and this connection is just not successful for you and, you, and those that are watching, you know who you are. If this is not successful for you, Capricorn, I feel like there's someone out there who's mentally looking back at the past possibly one last time because there is an ending for some of you. There is a main, there is a major breakup. There's major assessment happening because the Seven of Pentacles is also here. So, and I, and I feel like with the Page of Swords, it, it comes back to what I was saying. Someone feels helpless or someone doesn't feel like they can make any major decisions. And why? Because they're not holding their sword with confidence, with courage, with, with valor, with um, initiative. It's the page of swords is a quite a disoriented or scattered figure. It could be that someone's mentally feeling a little bit um, powerless. Okay, a bit of a power struggle here, and they're feeling powerless to make a major decision. Um, it's almost like they're helpless and they're leaving this decision to the gods, the angels, and the universe here. Um, so there is someone who's feeling this sort of way here. But look, you also have the king of wands and this is fire energy aries sagittarius leo energy and look the king of wands acts on what he feels so 
I don't know if this is the same person that initially might display um, behaviors of the Page of Swords and then gets things done with the King of Wands. It could be. Um, or if this is two different people coming forward for some of you, which could be two different scenarios altogether. But the King of Wands is all about action. He, he no longer can sit still anymore and, and take this energy or this toxicity or no longer can sit back and let this connection pass them by. Um, they're going to do something about it. It could be two different scenarios though, Capricorn, so keep this in mind. Um, so this might not necessarily apply to you directly. But the King of Wands is, is, I feel like the King of Wands is a fighter, okay? I do feel like whether this person is a fire sign or not, I do feel like there's someone who's wanting to fight because what you have in the past, they might not necessarily want to shut the door to. For others, conclusions are happening, so there might be endings. I, the cards don't really indicate an exodus or a walking away or a breakup. Of course, for some of you, this might happen. But for others, I feel like the only cards that um, symbolize movement would be the King of Wands. And he gets up and does things and, and moves on and... Um, does what he needs to do because he no longer he, he can't just sit back and let it pass him by or be on the sidelines he has to be very much in on the action very much having taken initiative himself so this could be one or two people because you do have a separate king over here with a complete different um energy king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy here this is love this is someone falling in love um, this is a very strong attachment there's a lot of emotion coming in around this person um because that full moon eclipse brings a very strong magnetic pull and a very strong energy, emotional intensity, there's someone who is finally coming to terms with how they feel about you. Um, I like the King of Cups because I think he's extremely emotionally mature. Um, not that he's suppressing the emotions. I feel it's more that he's on top of his emotions and he understands what's happening here. He reconciles with his own emotions. So whatever, whoever this is that you're dealing with, I feel like they're going to show you how they feel. Okay. I feel like this is going to be all out in the open, even if they're feeling a little bit disoriented or scattered as indicated by the page of swords. I do sense that this person will come through with some sort of emotion and you will see a conclusion or an ending or a peak or a turning point or um, something, you know, a major change happening in your connection with this person. You're both involved here and emotions are running high. That's very, very true for you. And I think if someone is growing attached and falling in love, it's it's if it's happening during this time and if they're feeling the full moon eclipse, that this is someone head over heels, Capricorn. This is someone that's will become extremely attached to you and sometimes it can be borderline unhealthy page of swords it's not mental healthiness here and and what i mean when i say that capricorn is that someone can grow very emotionally dependent on you um okay because you also have the seven of pentacles well they did and they it's them looking at how far you've come there's the notion of um analyzing a situation looking back fondly remembering nostalgia this is all coming up for some of you but look i feel like with the seven of pentacles this is really relaying that this person is you're very much in their sphere you're very much all they're focusing on but they're potentially wanting to make some major changes the seven of pentacles is some major life assessment okay someone is assessing your relationship from a new angle a fresh perspective um, there's something happening here there's a possibly investigation uh, looking into things more deeply Because that full moon is bringing all that energy. Could be an earth sign here as well if you are dealing with one of your sister signs. So a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn here. Um, if this is the case, this person is assessing things. Um, but it's more to do with the physical realm, the physical milestones. Marriage, moving in with each other, um, going on dates with each other. Anything that marks your connection through the physical this is what this person is thinking about assessing or wanting. 
But this is absolutely major. There's a lot of thought that's going into this. And for some of you, it's the thought of the past. You know, the Seven of Pentacles is this is how, this is how far you've come in your relationship. Um, this is how far this person has grown or become the person who they are today because of you, Capricorn. And I feel like they're really, really assessing this closely. So, you, you know, like this could really go either way because i feel like the two kings here the two cards really denote two different situations one of you i feel like there is an ending taking place i don't know if it's necessarily an air sign or a fire sign it might not be the case however but i feel someone is ready to not necessarily let go from the past but look back on it understand what you had value what you had it is what it is it turned out the way it did, and they're ready to move on, okay? They're ready to explore. The King of Wands isn't, you know, the, the most committed king in the deck, in the courtly cards. He's ready to um, pursue his passions, and he no longer can sit still and, and have routine or have toxicity or have what it is that you've, you've had once upon a time. So this is that. But on the other side of the spectrum, the King of Cups is, is quite grounded, uh, despite him being on a, uh, on a bed of emotions here, he sits very poised on his stone slab throne and he doesn't look like he's going anywhere. He's not drowning. He's not suppressing his emotions. In fact, he's managed his emotions quite well. Emotionally speaking, I feel like for others of you, this energy is this person feeling extremely attached and then you meaning something very, very much to them very, on a very deep level. So it's two different energies here. So really, I feel Capricorn, this could go either the way okay this could absolutely go either way so it's interesting to see what happens here so thanks for joining me um, I really appreciate it don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe um, I hope to connect soon thank you again for watching and all the best